The purpose of this video is to address a very specific situation for people who have a judgment that is listed on title from a creditor called Equable Ascent. Um, if you are already a subscriber to this web page, good to see you. If not, make sure you subscribe and like the videos. That really helps me disseminate this information to as many people as possible. So. Um, if you have questions about what a title report is or what I'm talking about related to a judgment, other videos here will help you for that. If you are somebody who knows you have a judgment on title from Equable Ascent, uh, this video is for you. So um, if you in some way got into some debt with a company called Equable Ascent, at some point they probably sued you, maybe you replied, maybe you didn't, but in some way they got a judgment that's been placed on title. When a judgment is placed on title, it has to be paid if you decide to sell the home or refinance or do something. Um, and so I've been running into some clients who have a judgment from a creditor called Equable Ascent. If you Google them online, you will see that they closed. <laughs> so the creditor Equable Ascent, you can't call them up, you can't ask them for a payoff statement, you can't ask them any information about the judgment they're done, they're closed. So your first step when you see something from Equable Ascent is you know, okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a battle. If you have the resources to hire an attorney to figure out where to get a payoff statement from, you should probably do that. It's It can be a lot of work. If you don't have the resources, hopefully this video is helpful. Um, what you will see on the title report, in addition to the creditor being Equable Ascent, is that there will be an attorney attorney's office listed for the creditor, typically. Um, that means the attorney's office who filed that judgment against you on behalf of equitable ascent in some way probably still exists. So a good first step would be to identify that attorney's office, see if you can call them, and you just want to tell them real succinctly what is going on. And what you'll say to them is, hey, you guys represented a creditor called Equable Ascent back in whatever, say the year of the judgment. They uh, leaned my property, they have a judgment on title, they are no longer in business, and then you want to ask that attorney's office, do you have any idea where that debt was transferred to? So what I'm telling you is when Equable Ascent has this debt and they close, they typically gave the debt or it was purchased in some way right, by another creditor. And so you wanna check first with the attorney's office that filed the original judgment to see if they know where it went. May or may not know, sometimes they don't know, sometimes they have no information, sometimes they have information. If they give you the name of the creditor that took it after Equable Ascent, then you'll want to Google that creditor, get contact information from them, and then kind of follow it down the line. Depending on how old the judgment is, it may or may not be with that second creditor. It is very common for judgments to pass from creditor to creditor to creditor, right? So you wanna make sure that you can figure out um, whether it's with that second creditor or not. If that attorney's office doesn't know, the best recommendation I can give you is to call a company called Allgate Financial. Um, I've had a few equitable ascent judgments over the last year that have transferred from equitable ascent to Allgate Financial. Allgate Financial right now is not servicing a lot of them, but they do have information if they at one point took it as to where they gave it to. And so I just traced one from Equable to Allgate Financial to Midland Funding. Um, those are all kind of creditors that took the judgment from place to place. Um, the goal, of course, is to find the uh, judgment holder that says, yes, we are currently servicing this judgment and then work with them from there. Now, there are a couple more things to understand. I'm not gonna get too much in detail in this video, but a lot of these types of judgments are very, very, very negotiable. Um, so I don't want homeowners out there to think that they definitely have to pay the full amount owed, especially if it's been transferred through all of these servicers. You really wanna partner with an attorney or figure out how to negotiate the judgment on their own. They've been buying the debt. They don't anticipate collecting on it. And so don't be one of these people that's like, like, oh, you know, they've added all this interest, I owe all this money, I'll just pay them off without seeing if we can negotiate it lower. There also might be some legal problems in the transfer between these judgment holders that you might wanna review with an attorney to see if what your leverage is. But please understand, if you have an equitable assent judgment, they're closed, you need to find where it went. Once you find where it went, you need to see what you can do to negotiate it. And as time passes, I will try and post as many videos as I can on how you can kind of negotiate your own debt. Um, but yeah, if you have one of these old, weird kind of credit judgments that have passed through multiple servicers, make sure you're understanding that you, you can in some way try and negotiate it so you don't have to maybe pay the full amount. Good luck.